Jesus Christ is here. Yes, Christ of He is in our midst. He is at work. He is speaking. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to sit down in the presence of God. We give all the glory unto the Lord Jesus Christ. And we acknowledge his grace again today. So we know he's here. And we know he's preparing your predicaments. He's working out your case. He's working out your case. Because he's aware you are here. I want you to understand one thing. Every day of your life. That a negative mindset. Can affect the positive brain. So you need to be careful what to listen to what the conversation you encounter because whenever you go the enemy is following you enemies following you. The, the enemy is monitoring you. Because as a born again Christian, we were not supposed to train, to strain. <laughs> we were not supposed to be strained in our Christian journey. We are not supposed to be pushed. We are supposed to be spoiled. To go spoonfully. We are supposed to be spoiled. Because we understand. That we need Christ more than money. We need Christ even more than the way we need ourselves. Because He knows our life from our mother's womb. Sometimes he's laughing at you when you are complaining. Because you do not ask him what he can do for you. You just start complaining and crying and murmuring. So yet, what you do according to your belief does not change your circumstances. Because I want you to know the supreme of a Christian body. So let's look at our title. Overcoming our troubles. Overcoming our predicaments. Overcoming our vegetables. Overcoming our vegetables. Okufinda, Oma Ponokelo, Oe Tutalela. 
the same way you don't want 2022 to see your end. Yet you want to see the end of 2022. Oh, hallelujah. It's a problem. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Something like that. Because 2022 will never see your end. Amen. Never ever. Never ever. You are too big for that. You are too special for that. You are above that. Just get ready to count your testimonies. Because even as we are here, everything that you have been praying for 10 years ago, 50 years ago, is, is, is happening now. Hallelujah. As you are here, you are in the mind of the Lord, and you are in the mind of the Lord, and you are in the mind of the Lord, I see an angel in front of you. Very busy. Weeping away your tears. Hallelujah. Weeping away your tears. Because now you step your feet. In the holy of a holy. Yes. Hallelujah. Sasovo wa katu konga tuno ariata moi apuki wa moi apuki. So all the predicament had to be behind to be behind you. Onge oiku mungu no mukaka joya ese no kukara kundi mayowe. They had to be disconnected from you. No kuno kukara to kuka kumena ve. Enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mene, Jesus Christ. It's our time to celebrate. I want us to read in the book of Genesis, chapter 2. On the Hala to Kalis, the name of Genesis, the captain of Tivari. Only two verse, 16 and 17. Omo hatuka kufa mwebele sembari, verisi onlongo na hamano, onlongo na heyaj. I believe you know them down. Ndei tabela mwe dinyola. To my brothers who don't work with a notebook. Owa matato owa wende vehe na opo tabati dirike. Copy and paste in your mind. Onge kufeiko misangu wa titura muluvi. Try your best to copy and paste. Kenda bale ni mo kufe komi shangwati yamu di tuwe mo mo uluzeni. If your brain is too much full, genge o uluvi o uyati. Then the side that always pour down. Dere lunduro kila kumbinga o yo haiti lesio. Yo se de uskanya mawet. Genge o wete kucha o uluvi o uyati. If you find out that your brain is full, and they can have a good day for a problem, a problem at the meditation. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. So I don't know how to do it, and they can have a good day. Amen. So, eh, 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 don't go to pay for life Spanish, I should have a level like me. Pay for the end of the day, and they can have a good day. And they can have a problem at the meditation. Hallelujah. So the, that proverb is outdated. So now we are on the higher level and now we say pour on the side where it's overflowing because other problems are overflowed. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's let's start with our reading. 
Hallelujah. So this scripture is too much familiar. Some of you, it was like your history at school. Or you can call it your poem. <laughs> but today we call them the key of life. The key of every door that you've been looking for. This command was given to Adam and Eve in the past. The time of their generation. And they were told that there is a danger on that tree. However, if you take it physically, it will be very difficult for you to take it because you take it uh, by zero. But if you take it spiritual, only when we get you in the spirit. The tree that God was talking about in the Eden, the Garden of Eden, He was preaching to them the same way I'm preaching to you now. That you can do whatever you need to do because you need freedom. I cannot stop you that you don't go to town because you will find danger or don't go to work. But don't go to your village because there is too much demon. People are not born again. Don't eat with them because they will give you demon. But I must tell you that when you go to the village, be careful, don't eat this, but eat this. And whatever you eat, make sure you purify it with the blood of Jesus Christ. <laughs> But don't eat something that you have to do with traditional. I have to release you to walk and to live in freedom. But I, but I must warn you for the danger. <coughs> The same way God told Adam that you can eat whatever you want to eat, but be careful of this one. So simply God was warning Adam that eat whatever you want to eat, do whatever you want to do, but don't sin. Don't sin against your father. I gave you a command as your father. Obey your father. Because that moment, 
Adam was having a good relationship with his father. Adam He was having a good covenant between him and his father. The connection and the communication was divine. But what happened? After he listened to Eve. He forget the commands of his father. And he obey the commands of his loved one. So after he committed sin, he died spiritual. He died spiritual. So the relationship between his father was lost. The Holy Spirit left his life. And he started seeing everything of this world shining, nice, and interesting. He was too much concerned about everything to enjoy everything he see. God listened to the spirit called mercy. And God listened to the spirit called mercy in heaven. And he said, Father, have mercy. Have mercy. The covenant that you are having with him is to be the father of all nations. If we just leave him like that, we will lose a lot. So we will lose all our nations. So his heart was touched. And he stood up on his throne. The Bible said Adam he had a sound. Of his feet or his voice. And he said, Adam. But remember, there was no relationship. But because there was no relationship, Adam even lost. The voice of his father. So when he heard his voice, fear comes. Because this was time of reconciliation. It was a time of repentance. Then we, he realized that he was focused on peace of sin. And he said, I will not enter into that covenant. I will not enter into that and when the voice comes, the river started manifesting. The Bible says he ran away. His spiritual eyes started being open. He's in trouble. He was running away. Yeah, I thought I saw him say, Oh, I was, I am naked. 
before. <coughs> the moment the voice comes, his spiritual eyes open. And he started saying, Hey, 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 hey. I mean trouble. What have I done? Oh, what have I done? The father told him, come. 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 And today, this is a voice of Jesus Christ. He is telling you that the covenant that will make you for father. If you break it, he will die. Father told me to tell you but yet spiritual you are dead. Some of you here, covenant is still there. Yet you don't understand the value of this covenant. You do not acknowledge the virtue of this covenant. So that you handle it more than the way you handle money. So that you handle it more than the way you handle yourself. Because it's all that you need for him to communicate with you. Let's hear from Hebrew what the Hebrew have recognized about this government or how they explain it. Esi musi kwete na si mwa nene Ose si e o kwa cha Ame i handi kwefa No i tandi kufi i ponande Amen Amen I want you to understand Onda hala u deko That always everywhere and every time Kucha e fi kukese na kese apa uli ne fi po kese God is watching you Kalunga o te ku filosi se o te ku tale as long as you are still his child. He look at you the way you look at your small baby. Your precious, bouncing baby. You are It's more than when the child is big. The child is in window. You are at the village. You only see sometimes the call is coming in. Hello. Sometimes you start arguing. But you don't even remember when you say hello. Many, I want to tell you today that when you are answering your call, stop saying hello. Stop saying hello. Can you hear me? Stop answering your phone. Hello. Because you don't know the meaning of hello. I don't know where you are watching. This might be new to you. 
But when you are calling or when you are answering a phone, you, so you, you used to say hello. Asike o geto nyamu kule ngoti o hoti hello. But when I get this chance or this revelation, it was last night. Hana me sinda mo ne hello le mo yeri osha yongoro si ajapo. That is stop answering phones. Hello. Kucha na pevi po ano kunyamu kule ngoti atuti hello. Today go and tell everyone that but, I said it. Monena indeni mukalo mbere kesho mwe kuchondati efei po kunyamu kula ingoti. The one boy in this corner was saying people should stop answering phones. Hello. Kucha omi aposto ni mwote siko na ukwati na nuna efei po kunyamu kula ingoti takuti hello. Because I will profit you now. The word hello is saying it means I bless you. Sa shohati kufatulule osicha si kucha otashitinga iti. Osicha shohalo otashiti Ohandi kuyambeke. Hello means I bless you. Osicha hello, tashiti ohandi kuyambeke. Sometimes you answer a phone. Hello, what do you want? Hanone people in watu nya mukula, ego di no shike, no no shike nyo uko. And to take, hello, wala shike. Hello, I tell you not to call me anymore. What do you want? Do you want to wish me? Oh, no time again, hello. Hanone kuro mba kuti no tege lada, wala kuri yake hello. But it doesn't make sense when you say hello. Because the first time when you say hello, the person was expecting to hear more blessings. Hello means I bless you. If you say this is a hello man, you, you mean this is an apostle or this is a blessed one. Amen. Amen. So means now when you answer your phone from today. I will say going to give you the word that you are going to use. Guess what? Which one? Yeah. It's not good morning. It's beyond that. You just miss it. Because you are black. <laughs> You just miss it. But the word is not far from the one that you change to. The word was not, is not far from the one that you change to. From today on when you receive a call, don't say hello. Say hello. No, Toti, hello. Hello. Toti, hello. Hello. How are you? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, is talking to me? Oh, no. how are you? The word is hello. Oshita or hello. Toti, hello. So go home and use your computer and Google. In the Kyoko Kalong, if we done it, I will go to Shikonke. So the word you miss it is not hello, it's hello. Oshita, where is you? But if you call somebody, this one is a, is a hollow. If you call somebody that this person is a hollow. Or oh, I feel a hollow spirit. Means there's a demon somewhere across you. They say evil spirit, you are in trouble. Start meditating. Today I'm preaching and at the same time I'm teaching you. So if you want to speak spiritual, you say hello. If you want to speak spiritual, you say hello. Hello. So when you are calling a person, but only when you are talking to somebody, you know that this one is a saint. Hello. 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 H
Ngeu siku cha auto popi Kunae O send Oye omiapuki Yes You are sure the person is divine Hanushi Ngeu siku cha auto kutengele Oye omiapuki Oye Oye waja keu The child of God the chosen one the peculiar generation the family of Jesus Christ the family of Halo so I believe today you learned something so I any old meme who is going to call somebody hello, you are going to be arrested. Uh, so, because you break the covenant. Jesus Christ has been angry the way you answer forms. Jesus Christ has been angry the way you answer forms. So, let's move to another, to the book of food, to hear what they are saying, the family of Ephesians. To understand how they overcome their predicaments. Before you go, just hold on, before you go. So, the Holy Spirit is telling me to also to refer you to one of the proof why I'm saying Hello is not a, just a word that you can mess up with. Yeah, or me pony up your papang and the pay fatrone no no ne holole no kucho morasigandi tile or si tasho hallo kaseke so kulongi fiwa kese omwe. There's a very diplomat liberation that you can prove you wrong. O penale la holole molo pa oiwana olo tariku holole le kucho wakala me puko na wapuka and is even spiritual scripture lo e holole lo osi cha so siri ono pa misangwa when you look at the book of Matthew chapter six verse nine when you pray with our Lord's prayer how do you say hano hatu katala mbolo matu se katere te hamano overi se oniwoi Yes. 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 So you are in trouble. Let's go that way. Let's go Let's go that way. 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 Let's Inamu karavari no kwenda nga shobapani Hava ende maula yi wa matilatiru wako Ovo bala ula mindu getavo Deleveri kukule no mwenyo mukanga O mwenyo kushiva O moro kuhashiva kumuvo No moreli kukutikolo mitimadavo Amen Hallelujah So many times when I'm talking to you You mostly hear me saying you are doing this because you are black. Now you get the confirmation. Where I get it. Hallelujah. Yes. Now Hello. you get it. You make this mistake and this mistake because you are black. So it's scripture. I'm not just accusing you. So the Bible said it. Because of people is foolishness. They ignore the voice of God. They refuse to take the word of God with them. They just choose money and they go. And they rejected the word of God. 
And even though they have money, they don't sleep. So now you understand that I'm not talking about you. You because you receive Jesus Christ and you are sleeping like a baby. You, because you don't find a basket of fro outside of the house anymore. Or snakes in the house. Or snakes from the bracket going outside. And you ask yourself, where have I slept? And this is a miracle that the Bible is talking about. That God knows when you are not hardening your heart. Hano kucha kalmo kukushi no kukuete ove ngeenge efimoli no kukutikon timawe. That's why I did not put any servant of God in every family or every household. Shoo shoo kalungi na tula nande ova piyavae mo family kesa tulem. He knows. Yo kushishi. He tests the heart. Yo kwa kona kono mitima. He does not just give. That's why you pray and you pray and you pray and you run out of patience. You forget that he answers acting to your heart. Amen. He answer according to your heart. He does not answer because you ask. Because he knows that he might give you something that you are praying for, but you are not ready. Because you are not ready. Because you are not ready. You are just asking in the sake because you want it. But you are asking because you are asking because you are asking you are asking because you are you are you are you 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 I will say it's because of your foolishness. I'm not the one who said that. Amen. So your Bible says so. That all the people that you know that they committed suicide. Plus your brother Judas is carried they have done it because of freshness. Because if you apply the word of God in your life, the word of God, they will have power to manifest in your life. They have power. To work in you so that they prove to the next person to follow where you are following. Because the Bible says the Bible says blessed today is all these youths that are watching now to know that the word that we are talking, we are the testimony. Even that Thomas who 
sitting close to you, or Sister Thomas, they should know today that now, what God is about to do is the last of their doubt. You cannot step your feet here and you need to say. I have seen even the agent, they come here, they don't go there to say. I have seen even the agent, they come here, they don't go there to say. They have a They have a son of a son of a son of a son even the people that you cannot see when they come here, they never go back and see. Even the witches from your village, even when you are looking at them sitting here, they will never go back and see. No, but you know what you come here to do? 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 Some they are watching, pointing fingers. That meme is a witch from my village. I know why is this there? If that church is genuine. Look at the one that at the corner, that side of the clinic. I used to see in my dream. She's a witch, hundred percent. I know. Oh, this is a question of logic, President Ferris, as you mentioned, it's a good thing, you know. Why somebody is not just standing as straight that the meme you are, which is stand up and go to your house? So, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, But the Bible says, a church is a hospital. As you can be very well, you see, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, But the ox is at the corner of the film of the tree. Asike kuwa olaye kwa kefinalonti. What does it mean? Oso that's the gari. That we are watching you, even though you come to church and you are going to travel people in the night. We are watching you. Hano tasi tisa tu kuete, no hatu kutale ng atu dia disena dohojo mutoka pondoa. We are watching you. So tu kuete. Every time you want to destroy the anointing, we are watching you. So we are watching you, we are just telling our father that hey, look at your daughter, look at your son. So we are watching you, as we are telling our father that look at your daughter, look at your son. So we are watching you, we are just telling our father that hey, look at your daughter, look at your son. So we are watching you, we are just telling our father that hey, look at your daughter, look at your son. And in that way, we have to act fiscally. So fiscally, we are dealing with you with uh, wisdom and knowledge. Hano, the book of Proverbs. Let's hear from the family of the Crossians. Let's hear from the family of the Crossians. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ. He is the key. Jesus Christ is our worship, and He is the solution. Oyo e e kandule polongo. Put it in your mind. Whatever circumstance. Si tula mama dila dilo e kucha munga loke se tori angi. Every house after your house. E umbo ke si e kucha me umbo lo e. Is somebody with predicament. O muno no tapiti le mojo onumba. Which is bigger than yours. Oh, do le or to pity le mo? Or one two step ahead from your predicament. Ile o mo ba ba yo kujia mo ne? Are you there? Oh, oh, how to let's say mo ba ko se kapte rotete? Very soon longa na na tu fi longa na na no. Amen. Oh, that is thing aha. Oh, e tu kupi fa mo me pangelo lom laulu. No kwe tu temburi la mo hamba o mona wae o mholike muye o tu na e kulilo e muye o tu na e kulilo ne kufilo lo matemba mo honde ae o verso nongo na nina no o e olupela kalunga ihamonika om darwa o tete wa moishi tu aishi amen hallelujah amen so this is to prove to you that when you have been sinning. Yes, so, kukupa siripareka kucha. Obe siwa kalato nyono no torongo ulunde. 
all these evil things brought so much pain in your life. Ano maulunda eso aningo kweto mauluru no moye hame monga na mnyo e. So everything that you encounter now that you don't like. Kese to so asa kene kamonga na mnyo e de ino iho si ho pai ko si hole. It's because of sin. O se o ya mo morwa olunde o e. Because Evil spirit does not operate in the light of God. That's why people which can come here, they will not wake when they are here. They can't wake here. Then not even the ritual, they can't wake here. You're lying They can work anywhere. But as long as we are here with Jesus Christ, we are anointing. They can't do anything. That's why you see I don't pay attention to people who are pretending when I'm doing deliverance. Because I look at the angel. If an angel touch your head, I touch your head. In the angel touch your chest, I'll touch your chest. But if you start demonstrating crap, so you see me walking away because I see the angel walk away from you. Amen. That's why you see the same hand that touch those who are rich. So also ne homo no kucha eke tu la fa fa na hari kolo hari kumogo bayamba. It's the same hand that I'm using when I'm touching of and of and hooka. Osho kolo teke kolo handi longi fange handi yakula no kukuma of and 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 of even though they come with dirty things. I was praying for them Saturday. No at my head, it's like I'm from Kakarara or poor. I did not blame them or stop doing my job. Because they, we are the same. We are all children of God. We have one soul. One God. One faith. And one heaven. Neulu limwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless you.